Today's episode of The Bald and the Beautiful is brought to you by our friends at BetterHelp Online Therapy. Listen, relationships take a lot to work. A lot of us will drop anything to go help someone we care about, and we'll go out of our way to treat other people well, but how often do we actually treat ourselves well? Don't even get me started. How many of us are like this? My mom, my mom will die in the cold because she cared about everybody around her. You know what I mean? I mean, just, some people, their personality types are just, they're not as, we're just not as good to ourselves as we should be. I know for me, I sometimes just get so horse blinded by work and my responsibilities and my boyfriend and everything that sometimes I'm like, you need X, Y, Z, and you know you need it, but you're not doing it. This month, BetterHelp Online Therapy helps to remind you to take care of your most important relationship, the one you have with yourself. Whether it's hitting the gym, making time for a haircut, or even trying therapy, you are your greatest asset. So invest the time and effort into yourself like you do for other people. Hello, I know people who listen to Bald and Beautiful, and I know that this is hitting a little close to home for some of you, and BetterHelp is here to help. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and live chat sessions with your therapist, so you don't need to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's so much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. You guys, I don't drive, so the option of being able to do therapy remotely is fabulous. Give it a try and see why over 2 million people have used BetterHelp Online Therapy. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and The Bald and the Beautiful with Trixie Mattel, and listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash bald. That's betterhelp.com slash bald. You guys, I can tell you from personal experience, I have had to learn the hard way several times that when I don't look out for myself first, when I don't take care of myself in the ways I need to be taken care of, everything can crumble and fracture and, and nothing's the way it needs to be. So look out for yourself. Hi, good afternoon, and welcome back to the podcast, Bald and the Beautiful. So happy you're joining. Welcome, Trixie. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hi. Oh, my God. Pleasurable. Oh. <laughs> Pleased. Oh. Happy. Excited. That's Woo. tea. So That's... listen up, Divas. We're getting hunty here. Because we're about to serve slay and fierce it up for you. <laughs> With the divas and the honeys. I can, I t- can I tell you about something? Mm-hmm. I'm going to start off strong here. Do I'm it. Gonna t- wait, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Blah, 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. Holocaust denial, mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. COVID denial, ha, blah, blah. Do you blah. like trivia? <laughs> that was my strong opening. Shit. Oh, just an open-ended general yeah. question. Love it. You do? Do you like going to trivia? I don't like to go, but I like to participate. Mm-hmm. Not from home. Trivial Pursuit was a game I grew up um, being able to play. Oh, okay. But like you don't like to go to bar trivia or something. No. They never have the right kind of soft pretzel and I don't drink alcohol. What's the point? Uh, you're wrong on that. Bar 10, which is now High Tops in West Hollywood, has a soft pretzel. Big hot. Big hots. They have nachos. Big hot Soft pretzels, chicken sandwiches. With the chunky chips, salt. Fries. They got chunky salt yeah. that sticks to it. Yeah, and they do trivia. I'm, I've never gone, but I've recently been asked to go to trivia a lot. Uh. And I keep not going, but then I keep going... Why don't I go to that? It's like a happy hour with an actual activity. That sounds fun. Also sounds like a great way to meet a lovely dame. Well, we recently got a question on our Substack, which anybody wants to follow gooped our Substack. It's very, very funny. Mm-hmm. Um, we got a question about how to meet people that's not Tinder. Yes. And I almost said- that's exactly what I was just trivia. thinking about. That's what I was thinking about. Trivia. Activities out in public. What do you think about that? I mean, I think it's a great question she asked on Substack. I actually haven't answered it yet. Me neither. But let's I started talk. to. I started to. But what do you think is a good for people who are, let's say you're sober or let's say you, I don't know, a lot. No, from, you're an adult. You're yeah, an yeah. adult professional person. You don't want to go on a date based on blacking out or based on loud right. music. You can't talk. Yeah. What are the ways for adults to meet? Well, so yeah, like if, I think it's the key is activity public because there's too much pressure and it's not a great like um, display of character what, to see one-on-one activity. You know what I mean? Like yes. a date is not, I can't tell if you're good because you're just trying to be your best self and I'm the only audience. I want to see how you interact with others. That is a really good point. You know? Seeing the way people interact with others yeah. really can get the boner going or not going. Are they funny? Are they like attention hogs? Are they insecure? Are they like a little too much? Are they, do they sweat a lot? You know, things like that. Do people like them? Yes. Are they generally well received or are they are people fawning over them? Do those, do you pay those people to be there? I That's read this article in Men's Health Magazine. Did I ever tell you about this? About the most liked man in America. 
According to who? The algorithm of Tinder. Oh, he was okay. the most swiped right. Oh, he was bland. And he, was he Bob wasn't gorgeous. No, he's, he's Bob fine. regular. He wasn't Bob that regular. rich, that gorgeous, yeah. that tall, that fit, whatever. The median, the mean. But he followed a few rules that he was like, this is how you get the likes. One of them was change your picture weekly mm-hmm. because people are always updating. And if they kind of recognize your face, they don't take the time. He's okay. like, you always change your pictures. This is a serial killer giving advice, by the way. But the other thing he said was, yeah, yeah. never look him in the eye. Yeah. <laughs> Don't, uh, wet, dead flesh is yeah. a no-go on Wait the timeline. Wait till you get home before you stab. <laughs> yeah. um, stabby, stabby. <laughs> no, he also says something amazing, which is women really respond to pictures of men where they are Holding friends with other women. Oh, okay. Because women feel comfortable around men that, are, that women seem to feel comfortable around. Serial killer. Serial yes, it did killer. seem like baiting. A, I know uh, what y- women yeah. want, and they want me on Machu Picchu. Is that what or Mel Gibson was talking about? a large fish. Mel, G- Mel Gibson was what women want, right? Helen Hunt? What women want, yeah. What women want. Helen Hunt? Helen Hunt. Helen Hunt wants a facelift. Helen Hunt and what women want. Yeah. Helen Hunt. <laughs> Wabba mama. No consonants. The, the, but, back to the, but back to what I was saying. Yeah. You see someone interact in the wild and it tells you a lot more than them just talking to you. Okay, perhaps. However, on, on apps, dating apps and such, hookup apps especially... Why is your profile picture with, with a woman? Gay man? Hi, gay. No, in this picture, he was like at a social setting yes, with uh, totally. women, female I get friend, co-workers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, get, I vibe with the ladies. That it is, wasn't is him with message. like, look at my bitches. It wasn't yeah, that. Yeah, look at these hot tubes hot and cans. Sluts. <laughs> hot slutty bitches. Look at their boobs. Hot sex tubes with hair. <laughs> boobs and holes. <laughs> you know, I've been, watching, tubes. I've been watching a lot more straight porn too. I'm really interested when the man jerks off the woman or the woman jerks off another woman or the woman jerks off herself. Mm-hmm. A lot of a lot of friction, a lot of action, a lot of speed. Sure. And then when the wet comes out, when the wet wet comes out and sprays. Well, I don't believe in that because when Annie Cruz told you us don't it's believe usually in that. Annie Cruz told us a lot of the times in porn, they're faking it, it's urine. Okay, yeah. So she said, Don't believe everything you see. But this is just me watching. I don't have to drink guzzle it down, like I'm, hoping I have not to, to run get a pissed. test. I have to run a test. I have to do your analysis. There's going to be a lab tech in the frame while she's sand, like sanding down her fucking her pussy hole. I'm doing a pee test. I'm doing a smell test, a taste test. I'm checking it out. As a as a consumer, even as a potential partner, I don't. I'm not mad at a little bit of pee. I'm not mad at a lot of pee. Urine because if semen con- semen contains a more percent dirt. of pee. Yeah, semen has more dirt in it than pee has. So take that down to the bank. Like I don't know if what you just said was true, chat. but I'm going to go with it because I'm yes anding. Yes. And then, and I will say, go to the bank. Yes. Cash yes, some yes. checks. Speaking of a diva. Um, I got the Easy, Bake, Easy Bear Lovin' hat on from, oh. from Teddy Bear who we had on the pod. Oh, cool. I saw a picture of him and he did a 23 and Me, and he found out that he was a big part Neanderthal. Oh, well, that explains and a lot. And he was like, that makes the a lot of sense. The knuckle dragging and the no <laughs> back. Yeah. The huge overbite. Yeah, yeah. But not one sentence. Didn't really speak any language. I remember when he walked in here with a club and hit me over the head <laughs> yeah. like a cartoon. Dragging some hot bitch. Great way to meet women. Caveman. Hit them on the head. With a, <laughs> if a guy hit me on the head with a club and dragged me back to his house, honestly, like, honestly I know I'm, he I know I'm kind of submissive and kind of a bottom, but I'd be like, it. he made he a move. Honestly, he made a move. A guy who's not afraid to make a move. He, he made a move. Oh, hold on. I'm just checking on the food. Because I am. We ordered some food today. We got some Thai food. Where do we order from? June Bangkok Cafe. Katya has a lot more like experiment. Uh, you're more into exciting flavors and textures than I. I love spicy. I'm about bland food usually. I'm simple, but I'm spicy. Mm-hmm. Like I don't like. I'm. I'm very. I'm very pro- like prohibitively particular. It's very annoying. I'm not proud of it. Um, I don't like any condiments, but I just I love things to be high impact, flavorful, and spicy. Good for you. Thank you. Um, other activities to meet people. Sports. When I played kickball, low lots of people sp- meeting sports, each though. other at sports. Yes, yes. Church. If you're into church, good for you because go and get them. Those those new those weird kids. Ones, those kids are just sitting there. Mary, Mary. Let me tell you these new age evangelical Christian churches that are not churches. They're in the Radisson. They're in these um, strange. Gorgeous looking buildings. Mosaic. The, the, the ads know, the that say like, of, would Jesus wear jeans at church? We're not a normal church. No, we're not your granny's church, honey. Well, it's like that lady who rapped Tamara Lowe. It's like, um, you know, if you want to be your survivor in this amazing race, you need for speed, you need God's grace. All that stuff. That's these people. That's, well, that's a mega church. But anyways, I went one night into one of these places, Mosaic, because I was like, I got to see what the tea is. Everybody Character was study. hot. <gasps> Rich. Nobody was gay. Rich. Um, Probably rich. They looked... They looked well to do. They looked like Orange County or something. 
and um, not one gay because I I lorded for quite a while. How rich? Uh, I don't know. How can Holy how Spirit rich can activate? you tell kids? Holy Spirit activate. Holy Spirit activate is the Holy level of Spirit rich. Holy Spirit activate. Holy Spirit oh, no, no. activate. This was a mix and mingle. Oh, it wasn't like some tent revival or whatever. It was oh. like a mix and mingle on a Friday night. Oh, it was like a mixer. A lock in. <laughs> it was a lock in. <laughs> it was a sit in. Um, people were protesting during hunger strikes. <laughs> Like, no, I, honestly, some people are really fat and they should be more hungry. Strike. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they were doing. Hot is LA people. Is that what a hunger strike is? It's a fat roast? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, honestly, at my winter weight, you guys should have all striked me. <laughs> and you did it. So people who are on a hunger strike are just making... Uh, that makes a lot more sense. That sounds fun. It's no, 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 but listen. So the... The, the mosaic, for example, was this new, you know, it's like they get bands to like sing Christ rock or God rock or whatever you call it. And, um, oh, um, the, 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 the clientele is hot, sexy, fly, and beautiful. Not one gay, because I would have been recognized. Sorry to say it. I would have been recognized. Nobody was checking for me at all. You are the gaydar. I was, yeah. I was the, I was the litmus test or the, the cowbell or whatever. When they're trying to find out people are gay in the CSI. Yeah. The, like, CIA, mm. the CIA. <laughs> the CIA. The CSI. The CSI. CSI. They hook CIA. them up to a lie detector machine and they show them pictures of you and drag and they go, do you recognize this woman? Yeah. And they go, no. no. And it's yeah. like one <laughs> sweat bulb. <laughs> totally. And then they yeah. start shaking. Shaking, yeah. And like, Two <laughs> weeks. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but they were hot. I was like, if I were a straight God fearing individual... This is where I would try to be. Smash that Christian pussy. When it comes to looking good, Stitch Fix has you covered. Say goodbye to endless browsing and hello to fresh picks curated for your taste and size. Style icons don't do it alone and neither should you. If you need a hand finding pieces that make you look good, then Stitch Fix has you covered. Whether it's date night dresses or cozy loungewear, Stitch Fix can help refresh your look. You can schedule a fix and a stylist will send you five pieces that fit your style, size, and price range with no subscription required. Keep what you like and return the rest. It's the easy way to get items that are just right for you from brands you know and trust, like Madewell and Sanctuary. I love Stitch Fix because I don't have to go shopping, which is, in Los Angeles, can be a huge time suck. And um, it's just a wonderful way to keep my wardrobe updated. Um, It's super seamless and it's um, so convenient. Get started today by filling out your free style quiz at stitchfix.com slash bald and take advantage of free shipping and returns. That's stitchfix.com slash bald to try Stitch Fix. Stitchfix.com slash bald. <sighs> love is in the air, and while romance may be great, it's important to give your brain some love too. February is the month of love, and you know who really deserves some love? You. That's who. Best Fiends is my favorite way to treat my brain to a much needed recharge. It's like a mental spa day you can enjoy wherever you go. Best Fiends is a mobile puzzle game that anyone can download and play. Whether you have a few minutes or a few hours, Best Fiends is the perfect puzzle game to unwind with because you're having so much fun. The game features tons of cute characters that help you solve thousands of fun puzzles. The more you play, the more characters you collect, and the more you win, the more challenges you face. New characters and challenging puzzles are added all the time, and there are tons of fun events where you can win huge rewards. Ready to give your brain some TLC? Download Best Fiends free today on the App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R. Best Fiends. So far, I'm on level one, and it has a very satisfying um, vibe similar to like Candy Crush. Download Best Fiends free today on the App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R. Best Fiends. Hi, it's me, Trixie Mattel. And whether it's saving more or spending less, getting organized or losing weight, there's a lot of worthwhile goals to set for yourself this year. I'm very goal-oriented and I accomplish a lot. At the top of my list is learning a new language, Babbel. Actually, for me, to be honest, it's brushing up on a language I know. I know that I know. It just needs to be woken up inside me, okay? Babbel is a language learning app that has sold more than 10 million subscriptions. For me, I'm brushing up on my French. Katya's French is incredible. I mean, for her 45-year-old mind to remember her French so well. And I st- I dumped eight years into learning French, but I just never use it. And I really want to, like, revamp my French skills. Not only is learning a new language or brushing up on a language fun and an engaging new hobby, you can use it while you check off traveling more on your list. The whole Babbel process is addictively fun, fast, easy. Babbel teaches you bite-sized language lessons that the real world actually uses. I spent a lot of time in foreign language classes and I learned a lot of phrases and words that nobody ever uses. So I'm very excited to be taught French again in a way that 
is actually functional. Babbel's 15-minute lessons make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective, and with Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages. Spanish, French, Italian, German. Ugh. Actually, I would love to learn Spanish. It's one of my biggest regrets is that I am not a Spanish speaker. I think... I don't want to get political, but I think that learning Spanish is one of the best things you can do living in anywhere, really, but the United States. I just wish... I wish I could talk to everyone. That's all. I just wish... I wish I was a fluent Spanish speaker. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you improve your pronunciation and accent. There's so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, video stories, even classes, real-life classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, when you purchase a three-month Babbel subscription, you'll get an additional three months for free. That's six months for the price of three months. Just go to Babbel.com and use the promo code BALD. That's Babbel.com code BALD. Babel, language for life. All it takes, it's kind of like how for the conservatives, all it takes is one or two gay friends in the life to completely change their point of view. It's only taken a few people in my life who firmly believe in God, who are basically normal and human, to kind of change my mind a little bit. I don't believe in God, but I used to be like, all of them must hate me. Oh, no, no, no. And I don't think that anymore. No, no, no. They got bigger fish to fry. Those bigger fish being that there's a man upstairs pulling strings like a puppet. No, no, right. no, no. They, I mean, but people don't believe. They don't. I, I think most people don't even really. If you sat them down and they had to write an essay about what exactly God is, they, they wouldn't say it's a man. They wouldn't say it's a man in the sky. No, like a wizard in the ca- wizard in a castle in the clouds. Wizard in the castle. Yeah. Yeah. Parquet floors. I don't know. Trivia. Trivia. I would Love like. It. I think that's a great event, and I'm going to go to one pretty soon. The only thing is, I just. I think I've told you this, Dave and I. Our third day. What kind of trivia though? Well, you don't know the categories. You can't study. For it could trivia. be anything from could automobiles be anything. of the 1930s to like um, to Indochine. It could be anything. Well, I do kind of have a game that has some trivia on it. You kind of have we it? could play really quick. Do it. Okay, hold I'm, on. I'm, one I'm riveted. Um, plug something while we're gone. Tell them about oh my god! Listen, guys. Hi. So I've been in the market for a new set of dildos that allow me to put my balls inside a cavity, human cavity. That's when I found Baldos. Baldos is a system of of uh, a system that will allow you to place your balls into the orifice of another human being with their consent, of course. Um, Baldos, put your balls where they belong in some hot gash or steaming rancid shit can. Close your legs to married men's. Thank you. (laughs) So Drag Race sent me this. It's called Race to the Crown. Oh, and I uh, think it's kind of like a Candyland that's also trivia. Let's get it. And let's I thought we could. We don't have to play the game, but I thought we could get into some of the trivia. I love the trivia because I don't know a lot of Drag Race trivia, to be honest. Uh, Girl, me so it's either. exciting. This guy, it's uh, it's exciting. <coughs> COVID. Do you? Really, I didn't get COVID. I was came in contact with someone, and I did not get it. My body's like not not now. This must be like a can. We're not doing all that. This must be like a Candyland situation. See, that doesn't. I don't like oh, that. There must be reading involved. Oh, hunty. Oh, my God. Do I look like... Oh, oh hunty. No, you look like I should... You look like someone that I don't want to talk to. <laughs> I look, look like, like one of these people. <laughs> yes. By the way, I've been using TikTok, so I can't even make fun anymore. No, no, no. I don't think it's... I, what I was going to say about TikTok earlier is that I, it is... It's not... It's just It's just the the huge, enormous range of information and the the, the things that are, are that you observe on TikTok are like... Wow, it, has civilization ended and this is like a remix with a one minute chunks? Do you know what I mean? Yes. It's so, yes. it's so outrageous. In the future, they will promote TikToks the way they promote like, it's the largest ship in the world, like Titanic. It'll be that budget. Can you put the crown on him? Yeah. Okay, there's a rule book, but like, honestly, as if we're going to read that. Um, no. I think there's some questions in here. Come on. Come on, Beverly. Those are baldos, hun. And um, you can get those at... Uh, any drugstore downtown and you can just stick your balls in them and then they go right up the pussy. There's a, there's a, a stack of cards here called maxi cards. Mm. Let's see. Who was the first queen to be kicked off of RuPaul's drag race season seven? <laughs> Who is Victoria pork chalk? Oh, season seven. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Tempest du jour? That's um, where you have to listen to the whole question. Correct. Yes. You know, this would be a great way to also check to see if you have some kind of dementia. Yo, that's good. Like, who is the president? Don't even get, like name the three queens that have played Beyonce for Snatch Game. Who is Tyra Sanchez? Who is uh, Trinity 
uh, 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 Bonet, and who is Kenya Michaels? No, fuck. It's Tyra Sanchez, Kenya Michaels, and Asia O'Hara. Oh, eh. damn, that's a hard one. What season was the prize money up to a hundred thousand? These are hard. Season four. It's four. Yeah. Work. I bitch. got it. Yeah, that was. I was a guess. <gasps> Who was the runner-up on season nine? Um, that would be a uh, uh, Shakeley. Peppermint. This says peppermint. Are you calling RuPaul a liar? I thought I thought Sasha Velour won season nine. She did, but I think she beat Peppermint in that lip sync. I think that oh, Peppermint beat Shay in that oh, lip sync. Oh, come on. That's splitting hairs then. The runner up. Following rules is splitting hairs. Oh, I guess I have much. Oh, I have to watch the episodes now to know stuff. Here, you can try some with okay. me. Okay, okay, cool. <clears throat> um, our brains are kind of atrophying, and unless I'm doing pit stop, I don't always catch the show. So, Okay, if you don't know this, I'd be, I'd be concerned. Who are the top three queens from season three? I mean, that's not that hard, but it is kind of hard. Raja, yep. Manila, and Alexis Mateo. Yes, correct. Who did Mimi I'm First infamously pick up, dubbing the quote drag is not a contact sport? India Farah, of course. Um, oh, which queen chose Jasmine Masters as her Snatch Game character? How am I supposed... Nina Benina Brown. <laughs> Was I right? Uh, yes, you Work! were right. Work! Mm -hmm. These are all multiple choice, by the way. I'm just... Holy spirit, not to activate. Them. Holy oh. spirit, activate. Well, this is not exactly... Um, is it a slur? What did, What queen did John Travolta mistake for the real Taylor Swift? Adele Dazeem? No. Oh, uh, oh. Taylor Mom's Jay Jolie. Jay Jolie. That I'm, makes a I'm lot of as, sense. I'm as in, I'm down. Jay Jolie is down for two. It says A, Jay Jolie, B, Katya, C, Jay Jolie, or D, Penetration. <laughs> People, someone thought you were Taylor Swift. I look exactly Taylor like Taylor Swift, her. honey, I, I am so sorry. I look exactly like her. <laughs> you Mama. look like a man named Taylor. Yeah. Taylor Smith. <laughs> Taylor Sniff. <laughs> yeah. Who is the first queen to leave a lipstick message on the workroom mirror? Shangela. That's true. Yep. Alaska in lip. Lanisha, oh, Alaska and Lanisha Sparks paired up to create this life-size doll in season five. Oh, come on, come on. Um, Do not look at Miss Pancake, what is it? Pancake. <laughs> Miss Pancake. <laughs> Miss Pancake. Mrs. Mrs. Blaine's Rimple Sticks. Uh, what was the name of, oh, this is so easy. Miss, you know what? We can, we can give it a wrap. Okay, okay, hold on. One second, one, one more. I just thought it'd be a fun activity. What well, wasn't that fun? So maybe... I'm just kidding. Which two queens have won Snatch Game twice? Oh. Was it? Who's Ginger? No. It's Ginger's down here a lot. Um, is it Ginger Minge and Katya? Obviously not. Is it Bendela Creme and Eureka? Is it Ginger Minge and Bendela Creme? Or is it Eureka and Ginger Minge? It's Bendela Creme and Eureka. Yes. It is, isn't it? Who's when did Eureka Ginger didn't win, win twice. She, she's certainly not. She went, no, no, she had a win Unless in season she seven. No, no, she had a win in season seven and she was Tammy Faye in um, All Stars. But didn't she do All Stars again? But that wasn't out by the time. Isn't she on like the. Is she on the next one? I don't know. I don't uh, think. This has to stop. Okay, Wrap okay, it up. Okay, We're giving okay. away too much insider okay. baseball. Right, delicious. Behind. Sound like a man. Just Give it up, it. delicious. <laughs> well, this is a fun game. You know, um, yeah, that's good. I would, I would, um, sometimes I get a little bit. I don't know, fact checking. If one of those answers or one of those answer keys is incorrect, I think that it upsets the whole integrity of the thing and I would throw it away. Do you think we could make, is this, is this narcissistic, but do you think okay. that we could make a board game about, about like uh Are you fucking kidding me? Of course we could. Like a Candyland where it's like a trivia yes. about, uh, No, I would say less trivia, more fun. Trivia is fun. Yes, yes, yes. But I'm not, I wouldn't want trivia that only refers to our sort of like program. I would say like, okay, if this is about a mountain biking vampire, which the, the trivia could be which related, you know what oh, I mean? I like, love that. And then it could be like, it, it doesn't, your knowledge of trivia in general will be an asset, not just us. Cause you don't want to be playing with people who are obsessed with us. Uh, I mean, people who are obsessed with us sometimes probably have big brains though. And they probably can expand to other areas of trivia. Right. One time me and David went on a date and this is our third date. And the first, we went to a trivia mm -hmm. and the first category was RuPaul's Drag Race. And I got every answer. And the second category was Hollywood directors of like the 1940s. And, and David got, got every answer. And we were like, oh my God, this, this is Slumdog Millionaire. Yeah. <laughs> and then was the next category? two through 10 or three through 10, Mama Crickets. Ooh. It's was a it like automobiles of the 1960s. We knew yeah. 
nothing. nothing. Sports, any sports. And I try to help at trivia, but I don't really know. And I get, to, I, I don't really listen to the whole question either. Yeah. Like, uh, in chemistry, water. I'm like, it's wet. wet, wet it's wet. wet. <laughs> write it down. It's wet. <laughs> it's wet. Write it down. No, write it down. Yeah, drinky, 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 drinky. The, the, the actually answer was H2O. I'm like, yeah. Um, rigged. We'll take a break. You know what's better than an ad break? A beach break. And I know we could all use a getaway right about now. When I want to book a beach vacation, I use CheapCaribbean.com. I'm all about that all-inclusive life. I get more food, more drinks, and more fun for less money and with less worries. Basically, I get more of what I want and less of what I don't. Cheap Caribbean has great deals on incredible all-inclusive beach vacations throughout the Caribbean, Central America, and Mexico, including Cancun, Jamaica, Los Cabos, Punta Cana, Aruba, and more. Book today and get a next-level beach vacation at any RIU hotels and resorts in the Caribbean, Mexico, and Central America. Less money, less worries, more beach when you book at CheapCaribbean.com. It's always been a dream of mine to go to the Ocean Eden Bay Resort in Jamaica, located facing the sea in the Montego Bay area with, a, with access to a spectacular white sand beach with turquoise waters. Ocean Eden Bay features modern rooms, a large swimming pool, and a wide range of dining options, including an exclusive dinner show restaurant with themed performances. I love Jamaica. I want to go. Less money, less worries. More beach when you book at CheapCaribbean.com. Keeps, baby. Listen, I have been bald slash losing my hair since I was probably 16 years old. I've been looking in the mirror at a receding hairline since I was 16 years old. I've tried a lot of different things. I have processed things a lot of different ways and kind of found out what, for me, bald works for me. But I think everybody should have every option and tool available for them. I think hair loss treatment should be easier to access. Prescription medication should be delivered at home. I mean, there should be so many easier ways for people to explore their options. And there is with Keeps. Two out of three men will experience a form of hair loss by the time they're 35. <laughs> Katya and I are two of those three men. Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors. And there's a reason why. Keeps offers simple, affordable, and stress-free ways to keep your hair. With convenient virtual doctor consultations and medications delivered straight to your door every three months. You don't have to leave your house. Low cost, treatments are just $10 a month, and Keeps offers generic versions of two FDA-approved medications to prevent hair loss, and 24-hour care and support. Keeps has a network of expert medical advisors, prescribers, and care specialists to support you in keeping your hair goals a reality. Keeps has everything your hair needs, delivered straight to your door with discreet packaging and proven results, baby. Remember, prevention's key. Hair is a lot easier to keep than to regrow. Treatments take four to six months to see results, so act fast. When it comes to your hair, save more and spend less. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash bald to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's keeps.com, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash bald to get your first month free. K-E-E-P-S dot com slash bald, baby. All right, let's talk about health. Let's talk about the gut. Let's talk about diabetes. Pendulum Therapeutics is the first and only biotech company to isolate an important beneficial bacterial strain and put that strain into a convenient new probiotic-rich capsule formulated to help manage type 2 diabetes and nurture your body's microbiome. Pendulum Glucose Control is the first and only medical probiotic clinically shown to help manage type 2 diabetes when taken with medication. I had no idea, but over time, people with type 2 diabetes lose the gut bacteria that help digest fiber and manage our blood glucose levels. For those people living with type 2 diabetes, oftentimes diet and exercise alone can't manage it. The best approach emphasizes diet, exercise, and a healthy gut microbiome. This connection has been widely recognized by leading scientists studying diabetes. Pendulum Glucose Control is designed to lower A1C and after-meal blood glucose levels to help you manage your type 2 diabetes. If you've struggled to manage these levels with diet and exercise alone, your gut microbiome might need attention. Pendulum Glucose Control helps fill in the gaps between diet and exercise. With Pendulum, you can feel in control of your levels, not the other way around. If you or someone you love has type 2 diabetes, take control of glucose levels with Pendulum Glucose Control. Use code B-A-L-D at PendulumLife.com to get 20% off all products. That's P-E-N-D-U-L-U-M-L-I-F-E.com, promo code BALD, for 20% off. And we're back. Looks like Tilda Swinton and Lion Witch in the Wardrobe. Tilda Swinton. Tilda Swinton. 
Academy Award goes to Dylan Swindon. What? Just say what you're going to say. Don't fuck with me. I don't think that Lady Gaga should win an Oscar. But you have you seen House of Gucci? No. Oh, but you just you feel you feel about it. I do. I will feel I feel that Nicole Kidman should win an Oscar for, for the AMC for the AMC but well, she should have got it for the AMC commercial so if she gets it for being the Ricardos I think that's fair game plus I just learned that she smoked she started smoking a pack a day for Lucy yes does Lucy smoke she smoked a pack a day <gasps> and then she quit as soon as she was done she smoked she smoked to be more like the character uh-huh. to sound that to get that rasp hey you guys but Lady Gaga Lady Gaga is getting drunk off fake wine She's getting drunk so off really pop wine. Acting. She's getting followed by swarms of black flies. You know, oh yeah. She said it was time to give up the ghost because I've been following the press. You know, all the 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 lead up to the. She's going to make a speech no matter what. Either if she's nominated or not, they're going to give Gargar's the gonna, best actress to John Travolta. Yeah, and she's going to walk up there in her wig. Yeah, and, and then like, Gaga is going to storm the stage and be like, "I can't believe this is happening." And they're going to be like, "It's not happening." And she's like, "It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter." There's so many bees outside and flies. I just had to be here uh-huh. to say this. Give me that prop wine. I'm going to get <laughs> lit and give my speech. Maybe she thinks she's Jesus, like she's turning water to wine. I, it Stigmata. Could, it could be. Yeah, Stigmata. I mean. She should, she should, that's their next high voltage religiosity. High voltage religiosity. (gasps) Le stigmat. Stigmat. Le stigmat. stigmat. You got to see Benedetta. You've got to see Benedetta. What are you talking about? Benedetta, the new Paul Verhoeven film starring Virginie Efira, French uh, medieval nun fantasy. Nuns in the Black Plague in Italy, baby. Lesbos, lesen out with statues of Mary, dildoed up their pussies. Or stigmata. Bless sapphic, them. Sapphic yearning. Sapphic yearning, religious devotion, and it's so good. It's so good. It is hot, sexy, flying, gorgeous. It's le stigmat. Le stigmat. Bless <laughs> them. I got to tell you something that I did yesterday. So, you know, the girls and I launched Serve Vodka, yeah, yeah, which is yeah. a vodka that's being rolled out across the United States and all the different bars, yeah. all the different territories. And I thought, I want to make a TikTok going to the bars in LA that carry it. Mm. And I'm going to get a drink at each bar. For free? No, I had to buy it. Oh, wow. Every bar charged me, yes. Interesting. Every bar charged me. Um, How much is Full whore drag. Full whore. Yeah, I saw it. 4.30 p.m. Uh Uh-huh. You saw it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you see it? I saw the TikTok. No, I didn't make a TikTok yet. No, you sent me a picture. This was me. You sent me a picture. You sent me a picture. You were at the, the bar. Yeah. Hitting the beat. So, hitting the beat. She's on the move. She's That's me in front of the mail. Abbey. I think people thought I was Angeline. Oh, for sure. Totally. So I screamed at the yeah, microphone. Yeah, Angeline. So I go to the beaches. I get a drink. I have it. I go down to Mickey's. I get a drink. I have it. I go to Kitchen 24. Three I buy a round for everyone there, and I drink it and have it. And then I go back here. And Did I you just stress It was just weird was... to be in drag on in West Hollywood. Do people cat call you? Try to finger your pussy? It was a lot of um, your butts. That's Pinch not your her. Butt. That's Pinch not her. Butt. Oh, okay, yeah. It was a lot of that's not her. Oh, which is great. That is good. I said I would do the fan thing next time. Just go full Angeline. Do you know what I mean? Well, I did do something that I thought was funny that hopefully people didn't think was mean. <laughs> what? So I walked by. Did and somebody went, "Are you I'm- Trixie?" And I said, "It's Carmen." I don't know. What, I just went for a name, and I just said, "It's Carmen." I just picked a new identity. Carmen Electra. I don't know. <laughs> I Carmen Carrera. <laughs> I'm Carmen. <laughs> Cause I was like, no, it's Cindy, Cindy yeah. Brady. <laughs> Is that Trixie? No, you it's un- Carmen. You dumb, uncultured fuck. <laughs> In all pink with Trixie makeup on. No, it's Carmen. No, baby, it's Carmen. Yes, Carmen. <laughs> it's Carmen. Carmen's a hot name. Gracias. Right? Carmen, yeah, it's extremely hot. But you know what though? You got to be hot to be Carmen. Yeah, because Carmen, Carmen is also like Carmen. The the, the ugly opera. Carmen, not good. No, uh, car Carmen. men. Car men. Riding in cars with men. But if you're hot, you're like, I'm Carmen. Carmen. Is Carmen a hot name? De la Fuerca. Mark. Espesita. Mm, what's a hot name? Lisa. No, Juliana. Juliana. Anything Anna. That's why all the porn people. Juliana is, pre- that's pretentious. Oh, it is? That's Lisa pretending to be rich. Do you know what I mean? Amelia is a hot Mama, name. No. Bedelia? Amelia can't find her. Amelia, Amelia Earhart? <laughs> That Bedelia. was when I, Amelia, uh, they asked me questions uh, when I did Z Way. By the way, hysterical, fun, wonderful. Um, uh, they asked me, they, she held up a picture of Am- Amelia Earhart and said, 
is she a top or a bottom? Is she a piss queen or a or a um or a, <laughs> or a pill queen or something like that? I was like, I was like, she's like, you have she like brought up receipts. Like you never stop talking about Amelia Earhart. I thought you would know. <laughs> Exposed. And I'm like, I don't remember saying. And it turns out I sure did bring up Amelia Earhart plenty of times. I don't know. You why. at two a.m. on Twitter. What is Amelia, Amelia Earhart, Earhart doing yeah. right now? <laughs> We don't talk enough about Amelia Earhart. Let's have, Let's that, have conversation. that conversation. <laughs> Let's have that conversation. Where is Amelia Earhart? Where oh is she? Oh my God. But guess what did I got to do? Her? No, they did not. No. But she's lesing out somewhere in the Caymans. I think that's what I said. She's with Tupac. That's Cesarine. what I said. I think that's what I said. I think she was, she's in the Cayman Islands with Tupac getting ham fisted with a bunch of, you know, getting Jack and Jill. Getting pride open. Yeah. <laughs> getting pride open. Yeah. Getting opened up and rotor rooted out by hip hop rappers. Hip hop. I saw a Tupac poster the other day on my run. I did a 10K yesterday morning. No big deal. And I saw a Tupac. Uh, there's something called wheat papering. Do you know what this is? Wheat paste. Madonna wheat did paste. it. Madonna did it. Okay. Wheat. <laughs> I had to get it out. I still up there. Go ahead. <laughs> you move the mic away as if that did anything when you're going. <laughs> Why didn't want to be like. Um, wheat paste. So <laughs> when you do a campaign for a record, you mm. can do wheat, wheat pasting, paste. yeah, yeah. which is, I guess, posters stuck yeah. to the wall. Yeah. Wheat paste. And I guess I thought like real celebrities had to do that. You had to be like real. Well, you, Madonna. you can just call a wheat paste place and say, can you do this? And then give them money and they'll do it. Yeah. So you could just do anything. You, you could just have your face with nothing to sell. Wheat paste it across Los Angeles yeah. if you were rich enough. I mean, I think that's what Kylie Jenner does. I wonder how much that billboard costs. There's one right on Santa Monica and La Cienega. Right one, yeah. How much can it cost? Because it's her all, to, all the time. I know. Yeah. It's probably like a house. It's probably like renting a house. Wow. It's crazy. I didn't realize. I hope, and they have those giant sprawling pictures of her. Yeah. Do you I know hope. how those get up there? I saw it one night. It happens very late at night. Very late at night. And then people are huge. They're like three times the size of a regular person. It's like that makes way too much sense. They're not even on stilts. They're avatars. They have, they have giants walk among us. They have Sigourney Weaver and Avatar. Up Six there. foot Wheat 70. Pasting. Yeah. She's up there with Gina Davis and Gina <laughs> Davis is shooting arrows. That's how they get to Batter stay up. up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I, sh- <laughs> can I show you something that I might fuck myself with? Okay. <laughs> this came with, this came with Matthew. Is that a lube syringe? It charges. I thought it was a vape. But it charges, and I think it heats up his hole. So when you fuck him, it's hot silicone, baby. <laughs> and guess what else it comes with? Put the hole in the micro. I'm getting to douche today. out your own cum after, so your babies get out of there. The babies. The it, it cleans the pot of the baby batter. The ba- boss baby, <laughs> baby driver, <laughs> baby driver. Ba- baby driver, daughter of mini that's driver. That's your baby driver. Wait, so wait, wait. That's the that gets the, so, the muck out of the sewer. You charge this, and this is how you know it's really getting juicy. You put that in there, and I, th- I think Heated this is a suppository. I think this is a heating element. Yes. So when you put your dick in there, it's hot. And then I think that this is to clean out your cum when you've come in it, come in it. But I looked at the butthole, and I don't know who these, um, I don't know who these baby dick people are who can fit their dick in that thing. Mama, it's mama, 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 it's, co- mama. it's a corn kernel. No, no, no. It's silicone. This big. It's so stretchy. You a think? pinprick? Well, I'll put an eggplant in there. Trust and believe, mama. Trust and believe. Jennifer, ring a bell. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even see it. I had to palpate. I told him I about to Jennifer, and he's afraid of you now. Yeah, he should be. Yeah, the last person who With fucked that neck. This person had no heck, no, no head, no arms, and no legs, and got thrown down a dumpster. Matthew. Not uh, before they were dick the death down, honey. Dick the death. dick of death, no, honey. not the dick of death. The dick of a dead person. That- <laughs> There's a difference. Yeah. One you want. Mine's gray. Never gets hard. Ooh. <laughs> Do no. you think you'll be found dead? Yes, hopefully. Well, I mean, I would prefer not to be. Like, do you think you'll die in a way where you go to the hospital, or do you think you'll die in a way where, like, mm. they, like we don't hear from you and you're at your house dead? Well, I thought that that happened a little while ago, and it was, um, it was. You thought you died. Yeah, and it was like you know, it was just another. It was just a boilerplate psychedelic experience, but it was so intense that I thought because you die often in these experiences. But I, I was like, oh, is it really happening? Of course it's not. But it's, you know, but you it's die? true. Yeah, it's true every time when it's a really, ex, ex, um, like, intense like that. If For all 
all of your critical observ observing faculties and sensory input indicates that you're no longer with us. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's crazy. But so, but then I was like, oh, I just, I don't want to be found and I don't want to create a mess. So like people are going to have to clean up. They're going to have to organize. They have to, a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. If you're like, just slip on a banana peel and, and then get, you know, um, killed in your apartment. I learned from Alexis Stone that it's illegal to fake your own death. She said it's some kind of like. Fraud. Fraud, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if we could fake your death. Oh, Alexa. You know what? We don't actually don't saying? need your two cents right saying? now, you stupid bitch. Sorry, you dumb no, we'll never know what she's young woman. Well, Are you happy you silence women? Yes, I am. Yes, I can. Is Alexa a hot name? Alexa no. is a fake name. What happens to people named Alexa and I they have an Alexa? I know. I, I they think get maybe, Google Home. I think maybe they opt out. Yeah. Can you change Alexa's name? No, can you but, be like, hey, bitch, or something? No, but you can say, you can change it. It's Siri, you can change to Russian, and I did that, and it's it's a little tough, but she does, like, an accent. So I'll say, say you send me this long text, and like, at Brian Farkas, subshinya. Like, she'll just say message or, or communication, but then she'll go, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> You're lying. No, I swear to God. I had it for a while, and then because I, I'm limited in my, like, technical vocabulary, I was just like, it, but the, when she would dictate, it was hysterical. Worth it. <laughs> worth it. At Brian Farkas. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> it's so funny. So funny. So funny. Uh, her life is still prettier than mine. But she would do like, she would do like a heavy, heavy, funny accent. Like, um, you're a fat bitch and must go to Weight Watchers. Like, so funny. But a female, obviously. I would think she would almost also like contextually like, she would she would interpret it not just with an accent but the way a Russian would tell you what it says. <laughs> yeah. Basically, actually, she yeah, said to you, yeah, she yeah. say, "Actually, you're worthless and like should die." Yeah. No. But they don't like the way she speak to you. I don't think you should have friends like this. <laughs> yeah, totally. Life coach. Yeah. I think Alexa will become more and more invasive. I think we're probably even past that point. I think. That I mean, this is a Siri. She's here. She's on the wrist at all times. Always listening. She's always. But what listening. is she? What are they listening for? Are they listening for the purposes. Of, they money. They want your money. Which you know what I think is fine. Everybody's like, I don't like that they spy on me. I do want my browser to suggest things I like. Right, I do totally, want totally, that. Yeah. I'd rather do that Pre than show me shit I don't want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it the the yeah, privacy is funny, fun or not funny, fun. Privacy is not fun. I'm having a stroke. <laughs> no, but can I say something that's not compassionate? When I Poor read, people when I die. read articles about people so-and-so who went viral for refusing to get vaccinated dies Oh, from COVID. That's, that's my jerk-off material. I feel so bad saying that's it. That's what I'm beaning and flicking. I feel so bad saying it, but I'm just like, I'm Ooh. glad someone's writing about this because this person that went viral for being like, I quit my job because they tried to vaccinate me, dead from COVID. And then they show their Facebook. They'll be sharing weird anti-vax shit until, well, I'm in the hospital. Pray for me. Pray for me. And then... This is someone's mom on their account. They passed last night. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Just want to let you guys know, don't get vaccinated. It was a, it was a scam up to the bitter end. <laughs> That's crazy. These people are probably doing cocaine and taking Tylenol with impunity. You know, it's just really. What's the deal? What's on the another what, level? What is the problem? I'm the laziest piece of shit on earth. I don't want to do anything. I'm very Kim Cattrall. I'm 30 minutes or less. It took me more than 30 minutes to go get vaccinated. I still went and did it. Free. What's the problem? What's the issue? Know. I don't. If you know. have it available, I mean, I don't. It's so know. crazy. I, people are very irrational. People, guess what? Woo, they're irrational. I think it's a lot of groups of people who don't like being told anything. Of course. And yeah. it's a lot of groups of people who have been so ignored by the health system and the government yeah. that they're not trusting enough to do anything. Mm -hmm. And so it's a mix of ignorance and a different it's brand a of ignorance. It's a perfect storm. Of, it's a conglomerate of a uh, confluence of ignorances. Oh, what? people in my building murder. Murder, death. Um, well, it is what it is, Santa. At the end of the day, Diva, it, it is what it is. What it is and that's the dolls, and the dolls, Diva. You gotta live or don't. I live. <laughs>
Manscaped is trusted below the waist. Now trust them with the rest. Join the 4 million people worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with the code BALD. I love Manscaped, you guys. That clipper, I mean, I just, I don't know how I got through my 20s with so many bizarre naked experiences <laughs> without really any plan in place or like routine on how to maintain my situation. And listen, I'm going to be honest, my body's basically completely bald except my private areas. So having those areas look a certain way is kind of pivotal because I don't have a whole body of body hair to like have things blend in with. We all know how the Essential Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0 is perfect for that below the waist, baby. I even use it, okay, I use it on my head and it's great because the blades are super safe. I mean, I can raucously, roughly shave my head and not hurt myself, which is fabulous. The advanced skin safe technology reduces cuts to your most delicate areas, or if you're like me, also your head. Now you can also enhance your perfect grooming routine with the perfect collection, the ultimate premium collection. It has the Manscaped Premium Deodorant, love it. Hydrating body spray, love it. Body wash, uh, folks, I need to tell you this, I'm obsessed with this body wash. It lasted me forever. One pump in the shower did my whole bald body. I love it. Two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. The body wash and the conditioner have this matching sort of, I would say that the, the scent profile is very mask presenting. So my butch gals out there or anybody who's just trying to, it gives you clean without feeling too like sports deodoranty. I love it. Plus, there's a free gift. It's a three-pack of lip balms, which is perfect for your upper lip, your bottom lip, and uh, your other lip. Okay, probably not that, but just the mouth lips. And the ingredients are vitamin E, peppermint, eucalyptus oil, and it keeps those lips moist, baby. I really recommend the body wash. It's so beautiful. And I'll say this, anything with fragrance, I'm trying to learn how to say fragrance. Fragrance? Anything with fragrance, uh usually irritates my skin. I'm so sensitive. I have used that entire body wash to the end and the shampoo and conditioner, and I have not had any issues. And I'm so sensitive. So you're all in the clear. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code BALD at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code BALD at manscaped.com. The power of attraction is now in a bottle. Thanks to Manscaped, baby. Hi guys, it's Katya. So, you know, time is money. And when it comes to my small business, you know, the little things don't seem small to me, okay? I can't afford to miss out on opportunities to grow and keep my customers wanting more. So that's why I use stamps.com. Mm-hmm. I don't know what I can say. They save me money. They save me time, stress, everything. For more than 20 years, stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses. They give you access to all the post office and UPS shipping services you need right from your computer. Whether you're an office sending invoices, a side hustle Etsy shop, or a full-blown warehouse shipping out orders, Stamps.com will make your life easier. Stop overpaying for shipping with Stamps.com. Sign up with promo code BALD for a special offer that includes a four-week trial, free postage, and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code BALD. I love Stamps.com. They save me so much time, so much money, so much stress. Oh, I've been watching. Um, so I was a guest on the pit stop that'll be airing soon. Fun. It, yeah, I tried to keep it positive. I did not do a very good job of that. Oh um, no. Because, well, you, we want you to be honest. I'll say that as a yes. host, we want you to be honest. Well, and here's the thing: like when they, so the producer when we were wrapped, of course, he, he gave me the very helpful feedback that I was a total bitch, and I was like, oh okay. Um, but this, I was like, but you know what though, Brett Favre, sports, the Packers, his little. This dick. is my sports. His little dick. His teeny little weenie. No, no, no. People yell about sports all the time. That's what, that's the whole point. If, if we didn't have sports, half the country would be dead because they wouldn't yell and they would just waste away. Do you know what They'd I mean? No, like, they have no way to expend energy. Yes. Yeah, They'd be it's like, just like, dead. You know, but people yell about sports. They're passionate about things that they have no expertise on or they have strong opinions about and they love to yell, yell, yell. But at the end of the day, it's all It's, it's all sports. The doll. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I will say when I was hosting the pit stop, um, we want people to be positive, but also if you're too negative, we can't really use it. It's kind of the same as judging. You can't say your body looks like shit. You can say- Highs and lows, yeah, yeah, You can yeah, say, yeah. I love your shape. It would be even better if. Yes. Well, it's it phrasing. Also, it's, if you're a judge too, that's like, you, I'm an observer. I am a, a veteran observer. Of course, I feel like I have carte blanche to say whatever. I don't, but I but feel, feel that way. way. Um, because at the end of the day, 
if I'm expressing bad, it's like, oh, that was a shitty episode. I don't want the show to be canceled. Yeah, but it, it will because of you. Well, you know, maybe they should suck on some dead juice in the episode. Get some necro vaping in a mini challenge. Well, so I'm not, well also storytelling, <laughs> when you say I hate it, that, that doesn't, that's not interesting. It's interesting to say what you would have liked to see. It's interesting to see what could have been done differently. That's what we talked about that. Yeah. Yeah. It was, I wasn't just it makes like, me think you're like shutting down. No. I was like, oh, I was I think, doing groans and stuff, of course. But I was like, then I would say, you know what? That was brave. That's shadier than anything. It was a choice. That's also shady. That was brave. I don't think that. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, though? I think you watched it as a toddler with two pigtails in a chair and they're trying to feed you peas and you're going. That oh. is bizarrely <laughs> accurate because also they, the meal they fed me while I was, was watching peas? it was this fucking rotten vegetable dish from t- tender sweet green or something. And I was like, yeah. where's my chocolate bar and my glass of milk? Well, I know. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it was, it was, yeah, it was a lot, but when, when I work with you and they say, what do you guys want? I usually go, um, we'll, Cigarettes we'll and usually candy? eat tender green, <laughs> Chipotle, Domino's. That's, that's pretty Just much think a good about like a 14-year-old who hasn't had sex yet. <laughs> that's what you, <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's the palate. That's how we're eating. And yeah, we're going to yeah. need two chocolate shakes. Don't get me, t- you know, see, the thing is you can't really overestimate the power and the impact of a lovely shake chocolate shake girl any kind of shake i'm talking any shake smoothie shakes um nutritional shakes but a good old like mcdonald's chocolate milkshake or a fuck me dark up. chocolate milkshake from haagen dazs i might as well be drinking a, just a quart of cum yeah big just, chunky mm. cum with all them the the, the, the parts giblets. that chip your teeth the giblets yeah. the congealed parts little fragments of baseball have you ever come <laughs> on someone who's really hairy Oh, they, they're, uh, they're, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're fine tooth combing. I know they're sifting J- jelly jar. Cum. They're sifting fucking uh, confiture. Me yeah. hairless. The cum runs off me like a dolphin. Yeah. Right. Just whoosh, it, gone. The, the chunks stay and then it and just, the water, yeah, yeah, it, it dehydrates separates. itself. Separation. Exactly. I look down, I have three crack rocks on my belly. <laughs> Dehydrated crack rocks. But hairy guys, yeah. they're like, oh, I have to take three showers. Yes. Cause this cum is in there. It's in there. Yeah, it's, oh. it's matted in with the lice and the mites. You got to be careful where you get the calm because it's like a whole clean process now. Yeah, do you fetishize the, the do you really, um, do you pay a lot of attention and put a lot of stock into where the, the cum ends and, and how it gets there and all that stuff? I know a lot of guys seem to be <sighs> preoccupied with that. Where did you nut? Where did you nut? I noticed that in straight porn, it's a lot more on the face than in gay porn. Do you think there's a humiliation as- aspect to that? I guess, but... I mean, I don't necessarily think it's, it's necessarily jokey. humiliating. Coming on the face is jokey. Also, I've done it, and I've been come on the face, and it just makes me want to laugh. Well, yeah, because, because the person's the, like, I right, mean, right. you can put your tongue out, but like, no. nobody wants that. And then you're you're squinting, and it's sometimes ropes of semen coating your face, and you're like, it's either like, oh, oh, or like, it, there's not a really elegant way to receive that gift. No, and and I'm I'm on the part of the person who's about to enjoy that. I'm wondering, like, is it is there a particular place or placement of the cum on the face that is ideal, or is it just the sheer volume? I'd rather see cum on the ass or cum on the dick, yeah. or than cum on the face. I think around the like wherever it was going, like cum on the pussy or cum on the hole, absolutely approximate area, cream pie, arm's yeah. length. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The face, I just like you just went. Well, isn't cream pie pushing the cum out? I'm you come t- in yeah, and I then the t- cum t- comes out. Yeah, it's perhaps. more of a Groundhog's Day situation. Come in, come out, come in. Turtle, come turtle head in it. Turtle head, yeah. What was that noise? Oh, the cushions. Okay. My poor couch. Yeah. Yeah, my couch is porous from West Elm. Pavo. It, West Elm's not poor. It isn't? I don't think oh, so. Then it's rich. <laughs> <laughs> but it is white and it is leather, which is very brave. It's awful. I hate very this brave. couch. I don't even like, I never even sit on here and watch TV because I dread this couch, period. What are you doing here? I Living in a prisoner in your own made. home? I'm having a new one made. Prisoner it's taking forever. In home. Well, that you know what? I had to uh, not uh, custom one, that, that CB2 thing. I had to wait six months. <sighs> Isn't that crazy? No, no, because they tell me that show. When you go to CB2 and you go, can I have this? And they go, they say no. No, no. I go, I'm but like, it's here. It's literally right here. And they're Mary? like, it's the floor model. I said, I understand that it's on the floor. I'm also a model. <laughs> Can I have this? It's an item that's here. I will take it. I will rip it off this floor and drag it home the 75 feet to my house. And I'm like- Full price. No. And they're like, no, it's six months to a year to get it shipped to you. Is it a drug front? Is CB2 for crack, bullshit, and um, 
two-way radios? What is it? What is that? There's a nail place called CVT2. Oh. I mean, those bitches go in. When you go out of there, they file your feet. I leave there two inches shorter. (laughs) What are they doing with all that skin? Selling it? I think they're making furniture. (laughs) (laughs) It takes six months to have a skin skin couch. Now, that actually makes some sense. We're, We're connecting the dots here. Yeah, so I hate this couch Shut and I'm ready, I'm ready for it to go. It's just terrible and it's just horrible. And I have all these pillows that Netflix used to send me about a pillow a week when we were oh, filming from home. That's right. <laughs> so just, all that extra furniture. with pillows. Yeah, remember Sage, 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 stepping in, Queen. Sage, stepping, stepping in, in. To, to arrange the furniture remotely. For me, I did not understand how to I do that. will never go back to, to shooting any television from home. As long no, as I live. No, I won't either. And I think it's for two different reasons. Number one, you won't um, you stop the insanity. But number two, I don't still know how to do it. You really don't. I don't. You, ref- you really flatly refuse to grow at that time at no, all. I refuse to obtain a skill set that I was not interested in acquiring. For example, when they say, hey, would you like to go to school to learn this new thing that we will then include in your job description now? I said, I don't think so. You know what else? You're not looking to take jobs from from. Uh, lights and sound people. But you know what? Back to what we first talked about. What? Aiding people at work. Um, it's, yes. It's fine. It, it, yeah, it is. It if, is. I think if people you... at Trixie Cosmetics started dating, Absolutely. I'd be like, you should tell us all and we should all know that you are. And if you break up, we should have some decorum with how we still conduct ourselves at work. Professionally. But meeting people at work is very healthy. Jim and Pam. 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 Callum and Liam. What were their names? Liam in? and Callum. No, what were Callum their names in the Liam. UK one? Dawn. Tim and Dawn. Dawn and Tim. Tim and Dawn. Tim and Dawn. Dawn and Tim. Christmas mm-hmm. special. Lucy Davis just lives, she lives close to me. We were supposed to go see Golden Girls, but we were afraid because of COVID. You know her? Yes. Dawn? Yes. And from Sabrina? Yes. I met her at Kiernan's Christmas party. We got drunk on wine she's and just cackled because everyone was 18 and we were just turning up. Wow, yeah. she's so fat. She, uh, yeah, she's so beautiful and funny. She lives around here. Yeah, right over there. Uh, I would love to have her on the pod. Uh, yeah, oh. we've got a, a giant. Uh, We're thing not here that should have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, you're fascinating, honey. Tell that story again. You know what? Yeah. For a guy who looks like that, it's pretty interesting. It is pretty interesting. Yeah, at least he's doing sheer set. Nice well, I sheer think set. men who look like this. I think at this point, gay men. How are you? Thanks for coming on the pod. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Silence of the Lambs. Uh, they, uh, <laughs> my dog. <laughs> Don't hurt my dog. You have no idea the pain yeah. I can bring you. Oh, well. Love the suit. If you love the pod, make sure you subscribe and tweet us once in a while. Take some clips and uh, you know what people do that I don't approve of? What? Put Photoshop titties on me and start people jerking People make like best of compilations of us, put them on their channel and get millions of views. Oh, and then they're monetized, right? I think so because I think it's legal on YouTube to make like a clip show and monetize it. I don't How much that like that. Legal? However, if you do want to make a clip show of this show and you're good at it, why don't you reach out to us? Because maybe we could flat throw rate buy them suit, from you yeah, and you then we'll put them on our channel. That could be fun. You know, at the end of the day, not only it, not only is it what it is, but I think at the end of the day, I'm not going to split hairs over that because people are enjoying, people are making money, people are laughing. I guess, but. And it's us. It all comes back to us. You know, they're like, hey, love it. So those are funny, but I loved your editing skills. Can we give you a million dollars? But what, what if I, mean? I had a TV channel where I showed clips of my favorite shows and charged you a subscription service? That's fucking crazy. That's what YouTube well, is. Well, see, that I don't want. Well, that's Although what this is. I pay for YouTube premium. Do, so do I, and I'll never stop. I would never. I, I love would, YouTube premium. I, when people, when a friend who is, a lot of times I roll with circles who are a little well-to-do, and they show me, a, a pull up their phone and watch a YouTube video, and there's an, and an ad, ad comes I up? swat the phone out of their hand into the trash, and then I fuck them. Well... <laughs> I, I was accused. I was like, it's $10 a month, isn't it? When the ad comes up, I grab them and I grab their hand and I go, are you poor? <laughs> By the way, it's not rich to have YouTube. No, pre- no. And every, every, every less than a media company has, a, has an OnlyFans. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. They need pruning, pruning, pruning. But I would rather go without applesauce one day a month. Not to mention TV. And we've done TV. Big, big companies. YouTube premium is what helps the independent develop. Yeah. Like the independent people get paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the content creators you yeah. like. Yeah, so give the big girl some shots. Give the big girl some shots. Their channels are good and juicy. <laughs> Should we go? Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>